Obsidian Zettelkasten. This is the ultimate combination that helps you connect your thoughts and ideas you get from reading books, articles or listening to podcasts. In this video I'm going to show you a sample of how I would use the Zettelkasten method in Obsidian to make new learned stuff easier to access. I'm going to use the same example I used in my other videos as well. We start by doing a simple table and filling in important keywords that help us orientate ourselves and access the article faster at later times. Then we continue by reading the article and mark a paragraph we think is important. We summarize it in our own words as this helps us to really understand the topic. This is called our literature note. After that we continue reading the article and then stop again after an important paragraph and make again a literature note. This time we think it could be valuable for us to understand the topic and we write a fleeting note. For me fleeting notes are own ideas and thoughts you develop corresponding to the paragraph. Now let's say this fleeting note could be useful for our own project, for example if you want to write a book or an own article and need to refer to the note again at later times, then we decide to make it a permanent note. For me permanent notes are fleeting notes which get to be selected as very important. They are prioritized fleeting notes, the most valuable ones. We copy the text and make a link. We command click the link and paste the text. We change the note if necessary, make it more concrete and perhaps mark important words. What we do next is tag it with important key elements with permanent note and finally add a backlink to the article. Now how are we going to organize these permanent notes? What works best for me is to create something like a listing. You could call it an index as well. I add the main topic of the article in the listing and then I open it and add another link with a title that goes best with my permanent note. I put in a link to the permanent note together with the backlinks. When I continue my work I would add all my permanent notes in there that deal with this certain topic. That's it, that's how it works best for me. There are other ways to implement the Zettelkasten method in Obsidian. A lot of them are more difficult. Let me know in the comments if you prefer something like this or more complex smart note systems. Alright, we're coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Write in the comments what you'd like to see next. Also, if you want to support me then like this video and see you in the next one. Bye.